yes yes thank you once more to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and all the others my flexibility has always been something that I've wanted to improve but just never really got consistent with I'm sure you can relate you see somebody in the gym who's like super flexible and you think that would actually be sick to be that flexible but it just never becomes a priority enough to stick to something and whenever you're in the gym you just end up lifting mate because chest well now all the gyms are closed and obviously i'm going to be doing some home workouts to try and preserve some gains but we might as well use the time to work on what we can work on and make the best of a bad situation so before we get into it let me just throw a little disclaimer in there this is not my area of expertise I'm not even sure if I actually have an area of expertise. So what I'm going to show you is some pretty basic stuff, but I actually think that that might end up being more helpful because I'm assuming that most people watching this are, like me, beginners when it comes to stretching and flexibility. So I think we're probably all in the same boat. Now, I'm not very flexible yet, so I'm not going to be getting into these stretches very deep. It's not going to be impressive, mate, but I hope it is at least helpful. Final thing to mention is that the areas where I lack flexibility tend to be down my posterior chain, so lower back, glutes, hamstrings, even my calves. And as such, my routine probably puts a bit more emphasis on those areas. Now, you might have particularly tight hip flexors or quads or even upper body areas and if so then obviously you should adapt your routine to reflect that all right let's get into it this is my now daily <laughs> daily as of about a week ago stretching routine so this is going to be a combination of static and dynamic stretches and what you would probably describe as mobility drills all you really need is a mat but i'm also going to show you a couple of stretches using a band and a platform too so first, I just like to lie on my back with my knees out and feet together and take a few deep breaths. I think this is called Lying Goddess in yoga, so check me out. So I just try and become conscious of all the muscles moving as I raise my thorax up and down, and this just helps me relax and get all zen, mate. Sometimes I get stuck here for a while to be honest, but let's move on. From there I'll move into some supine twists and although you can see my hand on the outside of my leg at the knee there, it's just resting there. I'm not actually pushing down or forcing anything. After that, I'm going to hug my knees into my chest and just rock my hips up and down a bit. Next, I'll roll backwards and forwards, bringing my knees over my head as far as I can go, again without forcing anything. Sometimes I will pause for a second or two and just feel that stretch on my lower back. Now I will sit up, keep one leg straight, plant the foot from the other leg just outside my knee. I'm sure you've seen these before, but I'm twisting around and touching the back of my elbow on the outside of that opposing knee. I'm going to alternate between each side and when I've done a few, I'll start to apply a bit more pressure on the knee with the elbow so that I can just get a bit further into that twist. Next I'm going to get on all fours and do some cat cows and if you really think about pushing your shoulders forward at the top you should feel a nice stretch on your upper back. I'll do quite a few of these before moving on to some of these that I don't know the name of. I'm basically reaching through and placing my arm flat on the floor then gently pushing in the opposite direction with the other hand. These kind of feel like you're pulling your trap away from your spine. That sounds terrible, but I actually mean it in a good way. A 
Okay, then I'm gonna do some, I think it's child pose into some upward dog. So you probably feel this in your abs and hip flexors to some extent. And when I've done that a few times, I'll just move my hands out to each side from the child pose and really focus on stretching out my lats. Okay, I'm done on the floor for now. So I'm gonna stand up, plant my feet apart, maybe that wide, and just start rotating my pelvis in little circles. And as you go through the circle, you will feel the tension move around different parts of your upper leg. After a few of those, I'm gonna just lean forward with my arms dangling and just drop down with a neutral spine as far as I can naturally go without forcing anything. If you struggle with this, try thinking about poking your ass out backwards to stretch your upper hamstring rather than just thinking about leaning over. So it's similar to the technique you would use for a Romanian deadlift in the gym. I usually alternate between these a few times, coming up and doing a few more little circles, maybe widening my stance a little bit and then going back down into what is basically a wide stance good morning. Back upright again and then I'll lean over and place both hands on one ankle and as I do, I'll twist both feet a little to that same side. So when you do that, you'll feel the tension move from your groin or adductor to the top of your hamstring right under your glute. I'll move from one side to the other a few times, just feeling that tension move as I do. Next, I'm gonna go into some side lunges, and if you aren't particularly mobile, these are actually harder than they look. After that, I'm doing some single leg good morning. So the aim of these is really to get a hamstring stretch whilst keeping a neutral spine, because often when people are trying to stretch their hamstrings by touching their toes, for example, they actually just end up stretching their lower back and not really doing anything to the hamstrings. And this is a good one to do assisted, so you can actually use a kettlebell if you have one, or even just lie on your back and use a resistance band, like so. Okay, next I'm doing these spinal flexion rolls. That's not... I just made that name up. They haven't even... Maybe they've got a name. Someone let me know. Now, these look terrible, but they're kind of supposed to. You're basically starting by tucking your chin and then trying to roll yourself downwards so imagine a crunch but for your whole upper body or if it helps think about starting at the top of your spine to the neck and then rolling all the way down so you're kind of creating a kind of candy cane shape and then just keep going right to the bottom Okay, I'm gonna move on to a couple of glute stretches and first I'm starting with some seated knee hugs. So usually a low seat is best and it looks kind of similar to the twists we were doing before, but this time you're placing your forearm across the outside of the knee and hugging it into your chest. It doesn't look like much, but I personally feel this one a lot in my glutes. Another glute stretch is this 90-90 pose. Called that because of the angles of your legs, but honestly, I just cannot seem to get the hang of this one. I just wanted to include it to show an alternative that I much prefer. So you will need some kind of platform for this, but the height doesn't matter too much as long as it's not too high. Luckily, I have this as yet unboxed coffee table, but you can use the end of your couch or anything. So just stand facing it and lift one leg up so the outside of your shin is flat across the platform. From there you can move your upper body over to each side and you'll feel the stretch in different parts of your glute as you do that.
There is a version of this you can do on the floor, but again, it's just one that I particularly struggle with, and so I much prefer it this way. After that, I'm getting back on the mat, and I'm just going to do a few lunges. So this time, it's a hamstring stretch, but with a bent leg, which will feel different to those with a straight leg. And from there you can go into some hip flexor stretches, again I'm sure there's a name for these. So for these, focus on tensing your glutes and abs to keep your pelvis from tilting to the anterior. Then you can place one arm behind your head and just gently twist to open up that side and you should feel that a lot in your hip flexor. And finally I'm just going to finish off with some calf stretches. So going from a kind of downward dog-ish position. I'll place my weight on one foot and then walk with my hands to a comfortable position. So you're stretching your calves here and not your hamstrings or lower back or anything. So you don't need to worry about keeping your spine neutral. Now the further forward your hands are, the more dorsiflexion you'll achieve and the better stretch you'll get. However, you won't be able to put as much of your body weight into the stretch. So you do need to find a balance. If you have good purchase on the floor, you can place your hands quite far out in front and kind of push yourself back into the stretch. Alright, that's it. Thanks. See you later. Let's all get bendy. Thanks once more to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you what, if there was ever a time to finally get started on your own website or blog or online store that time is now and Squarespace is probably the place to do it they have a vast library of templates specifically designed for all different types of websites so you can choose whichever is most relevant to your needs and then you can build on that with their style editor to make it unique and exactly how you want it each template has a built-in mobile design so it's still going to look good whichever device it's being viewed on and if you want to have a video playing as your site background it is literally as easy as pasting in the link or if you want to use images you always have the option of using the squarespace image editor to put the final touches on them there really isn't much you can't do and so whatever your website needs squarespace have got you covered you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and then squarespace.com forward slash joe delaney to get 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain all right thanks again people see you soon stay safe my friends ciao ciao joe delaney is my hero